ladies and gentlemen, money creation in the modern economy. This is a document done by the wonderful Bank of England, and they had this fake quarterly bulletin. They had this document produced for not our benefit, but they can't hide anything from the public. So they have this produced for themselves. That's why it says quarterly bulletin. You can use this quarterly bulletin as evidence of how the banks operate. It starts on page 14. What we're going to have you do is type in the phrase in a search for the document, money created. Now, let me show you how to find this document. We got Sertia from the kids. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go to here, right here. This is SATCOM 911. SATCOM 911. You're going to go to SATCOM 911. This is the document we were just looking at. See that right there? Remember that right there? Read to understand. We were just looking at this document. We just read this stuff right here talking about uh, securities of the United States. That's the document we're looking at. So we're going to go backwards because going forward is too difficult. Uh oh, I can't go that backwards. That's too far back, back in the time. So we're going to take this, see this right here? And we're going to get rid of that. Got to go bye bye. And what we're going to do, uh oh, got a one there. We can't use that one. That one is not supposed to be there. Get out of here. Get out of here. Got to go, got to go, got to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to take us to the SATCOM 911 PDFSs. SATCOM911.com. And you see all capital letters PDFSs. PDFs with an S. And it's going to take us here. Now, what we're looking for is we're looking for a folder called Money Creation. We're not going to do a word search for it. We're going to, well, we could, but we're not going to. We're going to scroll all the way down because it's a lot of information here, y'all. We're going to scroll all the way down to money, 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 money. Money. Let's continue. That's law. And after L comes M from the last time I checked. Uh-oh, we're still going. I think we've reached the threshold. Uh-oh, I think I passed it up, y'all. So we got to go back up. I, I done passed it up. I don't know how I did that. Come on, money. Moving too fast. That's how I did it. Hold on now. That's law. Wait. Oh, I know what the problem is. Law, you ain't supposed to be extended. Let's see if we can get law to come back up. Nope, can't do that. There we go. Whew. All right. Law ain't supposed to be going all the way down there. All right. Credit, card, debt. Where is that? Uh, what, what's that one? Liens? Come on now. I don't want all of that. I need other and let's see. Bonus documents. Divine. It's after divine. I know it's after divine because I was here earlier. But why would we do this? Why would we not just put in money creation? Because I have to show you something because there's a lot of monies here. Okay? Got to show it to you. So that's why we got to go through it. Ain't nothing to it. That's why we got to go through it. Oh, this is these documents are free for everybody. We don't charge for this. We don't make no money off of this. We can't because not all the documents are ours. But, you know, they're there for you. So I would start downloading, y'all. I mean, literally, I'd start downloading. You know, this is getting on my nerves because I got to it earlier today with no problem. I think I am going to have to put in money. That's miscellaneous. Oh, Lord, it be. So y'all are going to have to put in money creation. I ain't going to do it because I'm I'm too stubborn. That's right. I'm too stub and then burn. That's what happens when you're stubborn. You get burned. Okay. Let's do that. All right. What is that one? I don't know why all these things extended because earlier today it didn't open up all these folders. As you see, it's a lot of stuff. I mean, really, a lot of man. A lot of stuff. Oh, wait. Just a whole lot of documents. And they ain't going nowhere. I mean, they already got rid of, uh, what was it, 40 gigabytes worth of documents. So we had a whole lot more. We just don't know which ones they got rid of because they did it so sly and slick. You know, because they stupid. They can't help it. Okay. Not going to be able to find it this way, so we have to do, that's, you know what, that is what I did. That's why I'm not finding it now, because I did type in money. Hold on.
M-O-N-E-Y-C-R-E-A-T-I-O-N. Sorry, in the other video, uh-oh, wait, come on now, you saw me typing it in. Lord, have mercy how long it took. That's the AI system, I, I swear as I do declare, Lord, have mercy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I got some orange juice here. I know a lot of people don't like orange juice. They talk it's too acidic and all that other stuff. Well, uh, your mama, I'm going to drink me some orange juice. Ah, that's good alcohol. I mean, uh, orange juice. I don't drink alcohol, people. And I do know people put alcohol in their orange juice. I don't know how. That stuff would taste nasty to me. Now, pay attention. Bank credit, money creation. Money creation. So let's open this folder. Uh-oh, there's more than one document in this folder. That much I do know. So let's go to this folder. Yeah, see, it ain't supposed to do that. That ain't what it's supposed to. Oh, yeah, it did that earlier because we can't go, we can't open the folders that way. The folders automatically open. That's what the problem is. Now, that's what I'm talking about, okay? So let me show y'all what's going on so y'all understand it. Oh, come on. It don't want to take us back there. Money. We're going to get rid of money creation. And we're going to just do money. That's what I did earlier. Sorry, I got to take you guys through all of this, but it's necessary because you're going to have to know how to get through the PDF section anyway, because you need the document. You need to know how to access the document. Okay, I put in money and look at all these things on money. I'm looking for the folder. Hurry up. I ain't got all day. Valuation of debt instrument. I didn't know. Okay, I know it was after law and divine before. There it is. See, that's the first one, money. That's why I said you can't put in money because it won't take you to the folder. Okay? Banks can't lend their own money. They can't lend their own credit is what it is. Not that they can't lend their own money. They can't lend their own credit. I'm looking for the money. Where are you at, money? Legal understanding. There it is, money creation. This is the folder we're looking for. Okay? This is the folder. It ain't going to take me there because it does that right there. So it ain't going to take me there because we're already in the folder. See, the folder is already open, so it can't open it again. So pay attention. You see this right here? Here is your folder. Now, we're looking for the Bank of London document. Bank and Credit Money Creation and Payment Networks. I know we had it before, but that's not the point. I want to let you know that you don't just do a search for the document. Pay attention. Money creation in the modern economy is the other one. They're almost similar. Okay? So when you get here, this is the one you definitely want. And then you want, let's open up the bank and money creation. Pay attention. And you want the modern economy one too. Okay? These are your friends. These documents are the ones that let you know about money creation. Every single one of them. That's what you're looking for. Now, hold on. That one and this one, money creation in the modern economy. This is the current one that we're working with. But you want to look at both of them and you have Chat GTP do the analysis. I haven't done that, but I partially did it. See, this is the section we were just reading. All right, so we got that. Now you know where to go get it and you know the hassle you're going to have going to get it. I, I know we had to do that because some people talk about having some hassles. Okay, look at that. We done dropped. Since I started these videos, we done dropped 11 degrees in this place uh, up in here. All right, let's continue. So we're doing money creation, doing a word search. First word search, pay attention. For this reason, some economists have referred to bank deposits as fountain pen money created at the stroke of the banker's pen when they approve the loan. Remember, the law says upon approval, ha <laughs> ha. So it's the same thing. We're looking for number one. Still number one, and we're having fun. Okay, I'm the one. I'm still having fun because I'm still the one. Anyway, fountain pen money is discussed in Tobin, 1963, who mentioned, and this is before the Credit River case, who mentions 
it in a context of making an argument that banks cannot create unlimited amounts of money in practice. In practice, people, ta-da! This has been going on for quite some time. It is a practice. Now, watch this. See this section right here? This is on page 14. At least I think this is still page 14. Let me check. Nope, page 16. Bottom of page 16. Other ways of creating and destroying deposits. Just as taking out a new loan creates money, the repayment of bank loans destroys money. For example, suppose a customer has spent money in a supermarket throughout the month by using a credit card. Each purchase made using, uh-oh, is it down here? Credit cards have an increased and outstanding loan on the customer's balance sheet and the deposits on the supermarket balance sheet. They zero each other out. They cancel each other out. Lord have mercy. In a similar way to that shown in figure number one, if the customer's way, I mean, excuse me, were then to pay their credit card bill in full at the end of the month, the bank would reduce the amount of deposits in the customer's account by the value of credit card bill, thus destroying all of the newly created money. That's a lie. That money doesn't get destroyed like that. That's why the banks continue to do what they do. If every time somebody paid the debt, they're not destroying money. The banks, pay attention so that you guys understand. The banks use the money to borrow against by issuing new loans. And it's the new loans that pay for this. And remember, the Treasury offsets the monies deposited it and created by the banks. Banks making loans to customers Repaying them are the most significant way in which bank deposits are created and destroyed in the modern economy. Aw, that sounds so special. Okay, hold on. Got to tell y'all why we're showing you this. Some of y'all don't get it yet. Hold on. We're going to stick with money creation. Shows the amount of the new money created being identical to the amount of new lending. In practice, there are several factors that may subsequently cause the amount deposited to be different than the amount of lending. These are discussed in detail in the next section. We're not going to read those details. You are. Okay, let's do this right here. Money creation is also constrained by the behavior of the money holders, households, and businesses. Households and companies that receive the newly created money might respond by undertaking transactions and immediately destroying it. No, I don't think so. For example, by repaying outstanding loans. No, I don't think so. See, repaying the outstanding loan, paying attention, it still operates as a deposit. They still get the practice fractional reserve banking. Ta-da. It's a deposit. They still get the practice fractional reserve banking. Remember, there is no law regulating this. This is just them doing it. That's why they don't show their books, because you would see all of the money being created. Oops, my bad. Let's continue. Second possible outcome is that the extra money creation by banks can lead to more spending in the economy. For example, newly created money to be destroyed and need to pass it needs to pass to households and companies with existing loans who wants to repay them. No. See, that's what you must understand. They want you to default on your property. So that there is nothing repaid. They don't have to destroy anything and they can continue to produce unlimited money. Remember, they just did quantitative easing. Janet Yellen just gave almost a billion dollars to who? Exactly. First base, second base, third base, I don't know. Okay. Catcher, home plate. Got it? All right. Some of you won't get it, but many of you who are old enough do get that. In these two scenarios, what happens to newly created money being quickly destroyed and being passed on via spending have very different implications for economic activity. In the latter, passed on, in the latter, the money may continue to be passed to, 
between different households and company, each of whom may in turn increase their spending. This process, sometimes referred to as the hot potato effect, can lead other things equal to increase inflation pressure on the economy. In contrast, if the money is quickly destroyed, as in the former scenario, there is no need for further effects on the economy. Interesting, ain't it? That's why they're creating money, ladies and gentlemen. What the stroke of the pen? What keystrokes? Money creation by the banking sector is also important, as argued by Tobin. We don't give up about no Tobin. The behavior of non-bank in the private sector influences the ultimate impact of credit creation by the bank sector has on stock of money because it is less money may be created than they wish to hold relative to their assets, such as property and shares. Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. This is explaining to you how money is created. So when you get a loan, hold on, so that you get it. When you get a loan, the banks are able to create money, and they open an account in your name. Because remember, you didn't have an account in your name at that bank. Even if it was a bank that you banked with, this account that they open in your name is a separate account. That account shows a positive value. But remember, your promissory note also has value. And they take it to the Federal Reserve to receive their par value. We just read it, ladies and gentlemen. It says that Federal Reserve agents and upon these securities, Federal Reserve bank notes, now Federal Reserve notes may be issued. And in the case of deposits of obligations of the government, these are all government obligations, the issue of Federal Reserve bank notes, now Federal Reserve notes, may be for the entire amount of such securities. So they get paid. There is no more debt. All you have to do is understand this. And you can kill your mortgage easily because you can show that they received the deposit. You can show this act, plus you can show this Bank of New England, plus you can show this document showing that it's a government obligation. And guess what? They have to rebut it. You use ChatGPT, put the three in, explain what you're trying to get done, make sure he does not deviate from what the law says, and create your response to the idiots using maxims of law. Maxims of law. And Supreme Court case citations without, excuse me, Supreme Court quotations without case citations. So you want to tell it, citations omitted. With citations omitted. And there you go. Now we'll be doing other videos in the near future showing you guys how that security that is created by you by your signature on that document delivered to a bank with the operating circular. I gotta I gotta answer this, y'all. Give me one second. Hold on, I'm doing a video. Give me one second, y'all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, somebody calling to ask a question about something. Um wanna make sure you guys understand you have the documents. You have proof that your junk is a government obligation. The problem is you don't know how to explain it's a government obligation. I've given you the documents documenting that it's a government obligation, that it's a security. And as a security, not under the Securities Exchange Act, no, under the March 9, 1933 Act and the June 5, 1945 Act and the August 27, 1935, I said June 5, 1933 and August the 27th, 1935, under those acts, that proves everything you need to prove. It's a government obligation. You can even bring public resolution number 10 of June 5th, 1933 to solidify your case. Make them rebut. Challenge their jurisdiction. Remember, when they are coming into court and they're bringing a promissory note, you have to challenge that that's not a promissory note. It is a pay attention. It is a negotiable instrument. And negotiable instruments under Article 3. Article 3s are not foreclosable under the current foreclosure laws. Article 3 of the Uniform Commercial Code, those items are not foreclosable under the current foreclosure laws. So once you highlight this, stick to your foundation. Don't walk away from it. That's how people lose. Hey, guys, I'm not going to take up too much of your time. 
this is what I was explaining in the other video. I thought the other video was better, but this one was more detailed. Hey, take care. Have a good day. Arrivederci.